I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. He's getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's into the open field. Makes it to the 34. He's tackled at the 35-yard line, so they barely get the first down with a short pass. Well, they needed a yard, and they got it. The important thing is they're moving the chain. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He steps out at about the 45. That makes it second and six. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. From their own 47-yard line, third down. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection. Rivera is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Hubbard's a guy that really gives a coaching staff confidence. He doesn't fumble, he's dependable, and he is as versatile as anybody out there. Well, he's a workhorse. I mean, he, he's a guy that definitely they can hand the football off to 25 or 30 times. In fact, that's their goal from what they told us this week, 25 to 30 touches. But he can run to the inside, he can go outside with speed, he can run over top of people. Really just a total package. And that one's going to drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid is so dangerous. Brad, you're exactly right. The defense has to be sitting there asking themselves, how are we going to stop this guy? Catches it, and that's all. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds. It's the 37-yard line. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 21. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 24-yard line, second down. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's hit immediately. Scrambling around. The 10. 
Ball is loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Up the middle for a nice game. Hall picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 12-yard line. That makes us Tight. 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 Check 82. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game seven on the way. First down. Check back, 11. Check back, 11. Check back, 11. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds right around the 22 yard line. That makes it second and six. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Yes, yes, yes. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 31 yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Down he goes to the 38-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. First down. Again, he'll get the call. And he's tackled at the 45. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four one yard. That brings him second and five. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 21. That'll bring up third and inches. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. Loss of six yards on the ball. That'll make it fourth and six. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. We played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless.
Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. It's up. Looks long enough. And it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing. Iowa State. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he tackles them hard at the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Complete, he stopped immediately. He scrambles and they bring him down for a sack on the play. No game that makes it fourth and four. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Milton fields it at the 26, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa State has a three-point lead. Back's got it on the quick throw. That's good for the game. Second and last. That'll make it second and four. Check, 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 check. And he's taken down at the 49 yard line. Good outside run there. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Rodriguez makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's taken down at the 30. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Shot at the pick. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. This is the eighth play of this drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Iowa State is up a field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Brown from the three. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Oklahoma State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. 
uh, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to go to put points on. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Gets out to around the 45. He's level at the 37. That makes it second and two. Tackled after a decent pickup. From the 33 yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. The Cowboys had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. They give to the tailback, and he is drilled at the 23. the ground and he stops short. Loss of one yard on the play. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. McClure has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Iowa State is up by three. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's tackled right around the 50. A seven-yard play. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Akers picks up seven yards with that catch. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. Under heavy pressure. Picks up the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Oh, 
momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 42. Let's go! We're at 68! Zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Kicks up, and it sails right on him. No good. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 6-3, Iowa State. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That brings us second and nine. He's on the run, and down he goes at the 33. Hit immediately. No game on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Milton will be the return man. Milton fields it at the 27. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Gets out to around the 48. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. Quick throw, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and six. Hold this. Another run. Tackle. 
tackled for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 42-yard line. Call a loss of one yard on the play. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Good tackle there in space. Milton is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They're ready to begin another drive. Iowa State has a three-point lead. He gets another carry, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. On the ground, inside. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Again, he'll get the call. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it 33. Got the corner. Out of bounds at the 41. Rivera to punt. He fields it at the 17. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. The 10. Touchdown, Iowa State. job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he adds the extra point. Looks like
as they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Iowa State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. He fights forward to about the 23. No game on the play. That brings us third and ten. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. They're set to go for another round. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He gets rid of this one. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cyclones in front, 13-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. gets rid of it third and ten coming up ball on the 35 yard line he's gonna air it long well this offense has got to be elated this is what they had hoped for a stop by their defense just to give them a chance that'll make it fourth and ten Rivera awaits the snap Makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. He's on the run. And he's taken down at about the 35. Got it with room to run. He goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Gets out to around the 25. Sets them up with a first and goal. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. Under pressure. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Good 
draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Oklahoma State to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Iowa State is up a field goal. And he got it to the sophomore. That's a great tackle at the 37. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Tackled at the 47 yard line. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Check back 11, check back 11. Check, check, check. And he carries the ball for a nice game. With the tackle. Gain of six on the play. First down. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. Williams brings him down at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. Here we go. Train 19. Train 19. Check, check. Tiger. Tiger. made around the 27 yard line that's good for a game of 11 yards that makes it first and 10. Ten. they go back to him on a quick throw brought down at about the 19 yard line number 23 brings him down at the 19 yard line short yardage situation here second down and one a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Screen, and he shoved out of bounds at the 14. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Brock gained seven yards on that play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown, Cyclones! converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oh, here we go, Herbie. you got to love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's going to make the play to win this thing. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. 
There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he just gets rid of it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Just under two to go in the game. And they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So the sack makes this third and very long. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and down he goes around the 18-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Get out, get out, get out. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator got to deliver. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Feeds it to the back. State. A big, big score here late in the fourth quarter, and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left in the game. And he's tackled to the 32-yard line. Spikes the ball. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Ready! Jack, Jack! Easy, easy, easy! Tackle around the 40 yard line. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. The spike will stop the clock. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Here's the halfback on the screen. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it fourth and four. Throws it. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. It's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. Just throws this one away. It's the ninth play of the drive. Let's go! 
He's hit and taken down. And the ball game's over. The Cyclones get the win, 27-10. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.